type strategies. We're going to be talking about a very, very simple move that most stars will have within their art, which is the, the uki technique where we bring the hand from underneath and pull it out. In some styles that's going to be called uchi uki, in some styles they're going to call that soto uki, and in some places it will just be called udi uki or chuden uki. So for us here today, we're not going to be looking at a long range punch coming in towards the middle and us checking it at this range. Instead, we're going to look at a situation which is very close in. I don't want to fight, leave me alone. And he's going to throw that biggest of attacks, that big right hook, that common type of attack. And as that comes in, we're going to stop it. And then we're going to take this up underneath and we're going to drive it back out this way. And we get that terrible unbalancing effect, that bit of whiplash on the neck. You see how if you pile all this in all in one go, it's going to cause some serious limb damage. So working with a partner, what we'll tend to do is put a little break in there, a little timing break, not breaking his arm, a little <laughs> timing break, that as that thing comes in, we will stop it, and then we'll add the other arm. And the only reason we do that is for his safety. It's not because it's not possible to do it quickly. To check whether it's possible to do it quickly, all we've got to do is see whether I can touch both. So as that comes in, if I go and I can touch both, then we know that with a little bit more force, the technique will come together in the way that we prescribe. So making sure that we're not hurting our training partners, our Uchiyuki has the big hook come in, and this hand here is the hikite, the pulling hand. And as it makes its contact, however it lands, it rotates and pulls, thereby making sure that the elbow is underneath. And the hand that goes underneath, our hand that goes underneath, cuts underneath his arm and then comes back out. And where it makes its twist against the back of the arm, that's where we have our point of chemo, our, our little bit of tension that drives the attacker away. So you can see that by doing this, we can really do uh, someone some harm if we're not very, very careful in our training. And the point about that, of course, is to always make sure that your application is quite different from things like timing drills uh, and, and checking people's form. This is the application to that kind of thing.